Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would ask you guys on Instagram to tell me what your assumptions are about me. And I thought we'd read through them and I could explain and we just go through them really. So yeah, I guess let's just get straight onto this video. It's not dilly dallying around and let's just get straight into your assumptions. Okay, so the first assumption is you're 13 in the body of a 17 year old and I'm actually 19 years old. I don't know if I've actually said this in my YouTube videos or not, but yeah, I am 19. I, yeah, I do have a bit of a baby face. I would admit that like everyone on my TikToks was like, you look so much younger than you are. And I'm like, I get it a lot. But I am, I'm genuinely 19 and yeah, that's all I can really say about that. I know people tend to think I'm a lot younger and yeah, but I'm not, I'm 19. I have a baby face, but that's just me. So the next assumption about me is you're sometimes too kind when you should be more brutal. And I feel like this one's actually correct. Um, I, I am, I don't know, I'm not the kind of person to be brutal or to be really mean or stuff like that. Like my friends will say that like, I'll joke around and I'll take the mickey out of everyone and that to me is all just like fun and games but um i'm never like mean or stuff like in my tiktok lives there's always like people that come in and make weird comments and i'm just i either ignore them or i just i'm kind of like what'd you get out of it and you know i'm just not the kind of person to be like hey you you're this that like it's just not me and i i don't know i don't feel like i should be more brutal i feel like i like the way that i am and i don't want to be the <laughs> i don't want to like become something that i'm not i guess so yeah uh, that one's very, very correct, I think. Okay, so the next assumption is you like cheese and is small. Lol. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I, right. I, I, okay. I've always said that I don't like cheese, but I will, I won't eat cheese by itself, but I, I will eat pizza. I will eat mozzarella sticks and I don't think there's anything else cheesy that I would eat. Not off the top of my head, but I don't really like cheese, to be honest. So do I like cheese? No. Would I eat it on a pizza? Yes. <laughs> if that even makes any sense, but yeah. Um, and I'm small. I am actually five foot six or five foot seven maybe. <laughs> I think I'm five foot six to be honest. I haven't like measured myself in quite a while, but I wouldn't say I'm small. I was more the taller girl in my friendship group, but <laughs> um, I guess now to a lot of people I'm small. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're right on that one. Another assumption is that I love Disney films. And this one is very, very correct. I love Disney. I love what, what film, Disney films we've got. We've got Rapunzel, we've got Moana, we've got um, Frozen. I honestly, I own, I own so many Disney DVDs. Like back before, like I had Netflix and everything. We'd always buy DVDs and we have so many Disney ones. And I know like, and it's not just Disney that I love. Like I love things like Despicable Me. I love animations. like. Uh, I'm just, I'm a very big Disney fan and a Marvel fan. I love Marvel too. Um, so yeah, I will kind of watch anything Disney. When I was younger, I used to love dressing up as Disney princesses. That was kind of just my thing. And I remember one year I dressed up as Belle and it was, oh my gosh, I had the prettiest dress. And I wish like I could go back in time and be that age where I could wear all my princess dresses and stuff because it was so much fun. <laughs> the assumption that I love Disney films is very true. <laughs> I will watch anything Disney. And if you told me, if one of my friends came to me and said, hey, wanna watch a Disney film? I'd be like, yes, let's definitely do it. <laughs> the next assumption we have here is, uh, the assumption of you is that you are stuck up because you're pretty, but after like watching all my videos, you're so sweet. So I'll take this. Basically, they're saying that they thought I was stuck up when they first like saw my videos on TikTok because they, they thought I was pretty or something, I don't know. Um, and then I've seen my lives, they find out that I'm very sweet. Yeah, I feel like this is, okay, I obviously would not sit here and be like, I'm pretty, I'm this, I'm that. But I feel like people's appearances and the way people look, or the way people dress themselves, or just, I don't know, the way, first impressions, people always judge a book by its cover. Like you see a really cute guy on TikTok, or you see a really cute guy on Instagram, and you think, oh, he definitely messes girls around, or you think, oh, he's pretty stuck up, or you just automatically like stereotype someone just because of the way they look, or the way they dress, or the way that they they pose, or like, I don't know. And then, not it's not all the time that you then will be proven wrong, but there are a lot of times where then you actually talk to that person, or 
you you see them doing something nice and you're like oh maybe i did judge them too quickly and i feel like i have had this in the past before actually i think i, I don't know why but a lot of people have automatically assumed that i'm quite mean or that i'm i don't know that i'm just like the kind of person that will talk about people behind their backs or or judge people and I don't know why people always get that perception of me I, I don't know what it is but like I'm genuinely I'm, I'm not stuck up like I value everything that I have in life I value my friends my family I I'm not like rude I'm not mean I'm not I don't you know talk about people behind their backs I don't I'm not like what's considered as one of those mean girls or like in like that club of mean girls like I'm, I'm not that kind of person and I've never I've never even been that kind of person like I've always been in like small friendship groups I was never in the popular girls group and when people meet me from outside and they get the first impression of me they always think that I'm one of those and I'm like I, do, I don't get why and the last assumption of me is that uh, you're extremely crazy and hyper around your mates to be honest this one <laughs> is so true um, I'm one of those kind of people that I need to warm up to you before my full personality comes out a lot of my friends will have met me and then when we're talking about in the past like I'm like oh what did you think of me when you first met what were your first impressions of me most people genuinely will say you're quite quiet because that is who I am when I first meet someone I am quite quiet and then once I feel comfortable with you once I get to know you once like I don't know once, <laughs> once I feel comfortable with you I then become like this crazy hyper loud person and it's mad because so many people so many people that have met me and I'm not really that close with will probably say different and a lot of people think I'm very quiet and like people in school will think I'm very quiet but it's like I've got to feel comfortable with you to like feel fully comfortable to let my personality out and <laughs> genuinely when I let my personality out I am crazy and hyper and loud and I just I don't know I don't know that's just who I am but yeah, I'm definitely one of those people that you have to get to know first. Thank you guys for um, responding to me on Instagram, because I asked you guys on Instagram to give me any assumptions you had about me, and I didn't think I would get as many responses as I did, and I got so many, and they were really good assumptions. And I'm sorry if I missed out any of your assumptions in this video. Um, I may do this video again sometime in the future, if there's any more assumptions or things you guys have thought about me or anything. Um, and yeah, I made this video again, so keep an eye out for my Instagram. I will, I always post on there, like, give me questions, give me assumptions. I'm always posting on there, and same on my TikTok. Always posting on my TikTok. Thank you guys for watching this video and sticking to the end. Yeah, if you stick to the end, right, if you smile to stick to the end of this video, so that I know that you got to the very end of this video, type in the comments, just pineapple. Just put pineapple, and I will know you got to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.